What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about getting an actual fish tank going. So, my tank, let me show you. I am cleaning it as we speak. All of that green stuff is flying around right now. And I've had this tank for about a year. I've had some trouble keeping it going. It's been some time since I had it. I've spent a long time figuring out the hydrogen cycle, which I finally figured out, and I am going to be showing it to you guys. Um, but I have a problem. When you're starting to learn saltwater aquariums, it's difficult to understand how some of this water uh, levels and things that are in the water the way it works because I know I've struggled with it um, some people that I know that have started they have quit because of lack of information I want to figure out a way that I can make a full series on starting keeping and maintaining a saltwater aquarium for the beginner now I am by no way a professional I have no idea what I'm doing with the fish tanks, but I want to learn and take you guys along with me while I figure out how all of this stuff works. I'm going to show you guys the hydrogen cycle in this video, the way that I started the hydrogen cycle, the way that I understand it and how it worked out for me. My basic understanding on how the hydrogen cycle works is you have your first week week one and then you also have well let's start with week one here your tank is going to start to have a spike this spike here is because of ammonia with this ammonia spike, in week one, you're also going to have another spike in week two. This spike is going to be your nitrites. These nitrites and ammonia are the two first things that are going to happen to your fish tank when you first get started and these are also known as diatoms and these diatoms are what you need to focus on for week one and week two so week one let's say if you started on a Monday uh, Monday through Sunday on Sunday a full seven day cycle seven. you're going to want to test your water after you test your water that's going to tell you how much ammonia you have with a water testing kit API sells a kit that's pretty good and I'll list a link in the description so that you can uh, see the kit that I'm talking about but this is the first step after you have your fish tank put together, your water, um, you have your sand in there if you have any, this is the first step that you need to take in order to get your reef going. After this, week two, full seven day cycle, you have to test your water again. Test again. If you do not test this again, in week two you are not gonna know how many nitrites you currently have in your water remember you're gonna have this is gonna be your first spike this is gonna be your second spike these first two weeks this is what you need to worry about in order to get your fish tank started now from here you're gonna have a lot more things that are gonna happen this is week one and week two now Week three,
you're going to have a spike in nitrates. You're going to have three weeks of spiking. This is going to be week number three. Here, you're going to have a spike at this peak of nitrates. And you're also going to have another problem, which is it's going to dip a little bit. Now, this does not mean that you finished your cycle. Apart from it having this dip, you are also going to have a small little jump and then it's going to go down. By the time this is going down, you are on week number four. This is a seven day cycle. Cycle. This is another seven day cycle. These seven day cycles are really important because you need to understand how these things work. Now, once this dip happens, it's going to go up again. And this is where you're going to do a five percent water change um, here is typically where I have added fish um, week number four you're gonna add fish now you're not gonna add just any fish you need to add your cleanup crew fish clean up crew Wow, that's an S. Cleanup crew. Once you have your cleanup crew on your tank, they're gonna start eating up all of the algae and any other impurities that you're gonna have in your tank. This is all in week number four. Now, week five through six, after these two steps have happened, you, you first started with your diatoms and your first week new tank after week one has gone by week two has gone by and you've seen these spikes in your tank now please keep in mind this is an estimation after your nitrate spike on week number three and week number four and you do your water change a five percent water change and you started adding fish you're gonna wait another week and after that week you're gonna start to introduce corals week number five now keep in mind corals Duncans are the ones that I first added in my tank. They are very hardy, meaning they won't die easily. And the good thing about them is that they they have the ability to withstand a lot of water inaccuracies or ink. I don't know how to say it. Whatever, you get the point. After that, after you have finally started to add corals, you have to do a water test again. In week six, week six, this is where you're going to do water test, water test, to add more. Now, this. this right here in week number six that's when you are going to do a water test to see if you can add more corals this is also going to dictate how much time you need to wait 
for you to add more corals and more fish to your tank. Now, with that said, this is what I consider to be the basic beginning to a fish tank. Right here. You got your first week, which you're gonna get your spike, you're gonna get your first ammonia spike, your week number two, you're gonna get your nitrite spike. And keep in mind, you have to do a water test. Week one, a water test. Week two, every single week, you gotta do a water test for six total weeks. This is what's gonna help you figure out where your tank is. Week number three, you have to see, what does it say? You're another full seven day cycle. I'm reading this backwards, so sorry if it's a little strange. You have to see your seven day cycle. Now, with the seven day cycle, you will have a nitrite spike. Nitrate, sorry. You will have a nitrate spike. Once you have this nitrate spike, it will go down by week number four. It's a full seven day cycle, it will go down. Now, in week number four, I did a water change. I did a 5% water change. Some people said do 10. I mean, from what I've seen, 10 should be the number that you do, but I personally did a 5% water change. If this is right or wrong, I have no idea. I'm just telling you what had worked for me. Now, at that time, I did add a hardy fish. I added a clownfish, which is Nemo. Nemo has been with me since I actually started the fish tank. And he's never got an ick. He's been healthy, he's been good, he's been safe. You can see he's doing fine, he's pretty good. Now, the fish tank. After the cleanup, there has been a lot of changes that I did to the tank. And there are a few things that I wanna show you guys about the tank and how the tank is doing after that big cleanup that we did with Vince. I'm gonna post a link to the video either on the right or on the left, I don't know. It's gonna be my first link suggestion um, on YouTube. So if it's on the right, click on the right. If it's on the left, it's on the left. For sure, it'll be on the description below. Hopefully this video will explain a little more on how to get started with a fish tank.